Good morning, it's Denise here at Junk Journal Junkie UK. Thank you for joining me for another um, craft with me. It's a rainy morning in uh, Lincolnshire, England this morning, but we're not going to let that dampen our spirits, are we? So hello to anybody new, lovely to have you here. Love to chat, so if you want to talk in the comments to me, um, be lovely to see that. Um, hi to all you guys that are with me all the time. Still like chatting to you, so chat as well. Um, other places you can contact me are in my uh, links in the description. Links are in the description. Um, so let's have a bit of fun. So you can probably see I've got all sorts of bits and pieces out on my desk today, just for a change. Right, I've brought a few things. Um, so I'm just going to be using up some stash, I think, making some ephemera. So I brought some things that I've had around a little while that I love. It's not that I want to get rid of them or I haven't used them because I don't love them. And I think it's time we started using them. So um, these lovely frames are like um, felt. Mm, yeah, a type of felt, not, not some, you know, there's a bit of stiffness to them, but they are like felt um, die cut frames. From my sister when I first started junk journaling, she said, oh, these might be uh, useful. And I, I have used a couple. Um, but I'm, I'm going to use a few today and make some probably journal cards with them because I I brought some birds along. I have uh, got quite a few bird books and I have been trying to get through some fussy cutting. Some more fussy cut than others as you can see. Let's put it on this lighter background. So I haven't brought a lot but I was thinking some of these, the owl obviously has got to be used. I've got a few favourites in here blue tit look and I love blue tits I love owls I mean they're all beautiful um, I was thinking I might be able to frame them and make some lovely journal cards that maybe will go in the autumn but some of them will go away for um, I'd love to do a bird journal I've, I've been watching Tanya do a, a bird tan uh, a bird journal this year on Tatty Treasure and um, you know the bird images are beautiful aren't they so so I might make some bird ephemera over the next few weeks and put it away. So we've got birds on that. I've got this which has been waiting to be done for a while. You probably, if you've been with me before, you'll have seen this, <coughs> excuse me, this butterfly come in and out of my stash, in and out of my scrap stash. Um, and I think it's time it got used up as well. It does look a little bit autumn me actually with a dark background, so we might be able to put it in the autumn. I've got this beautiful green envelope, I've got in some happy mail, I believe. Yes, the book page that's been uh, kicking around for ages so I thought it would be nice to just map that onto some book page, onto the envelope and then this is a, a page from of graph paper from a lovely vintage book so I thought I'd, I'd back it with that for journaling on. I've also got some, uh, I think that's not it, oh this was it here. So this is a vintage cover of some old music paper. I mean that's not distressed, that is age. <laughs> It is distressed but it's not being distressed on purpose yeah so I might put some of that behind that as well to journal on but we'll see what am I doing with those birds we'll leave that out because I think we'll do that one first it should be a, she says touching wood a reasonably quick ish and straightforward make you probably spotted my mushrooms <laughs> um, so I finally cut them out so these have been sitting around on a whole page for a while yeah gorgeous aren't they the bigger you can see there the bigger bigger images and this is a beautiful now i know this did come from tanya at tatty treasure it's almost um it's an envelope coin envelope maybe don't know but it's um it's beautiful it's got a beautiful feeling it's got a little bit of a shine looks like leather just love it and i'm i think they're i think that's crying out for a a mushroom on it i think that might be all i've oh i've got couple of pieces of card that you've maybe seen in and out of my stash as well um, so I thought maybe those birds and frames could go on that and then I've just brought along this little uh, and I believe this came from Julie at Camellia Craft Camellia Craft Designs I think um, a little money envelope and this is an, an off cut from something that I've been doing that I'll show you <laughs> I'll show you in a week or so um, and it just fits perfect on it so if, I thought if I just round the corners put it on there I might pop a bird or a mushroom or something on there and I've got another little piece ready to go okay so I brought some 
of that old music that came out of that uh, yeah cover that I showed you it's lovely uh, uh, thick and yet um, creamy coloured and I don't know if I'll need this or not I just bought it long so this is a bit of a file folder a shiny it's a shiny file folder but on the inside it's got that nice green colour so just so that I don't have to go hunting for bits I've also got the rest of those pages on my desk and I've got some pages that I've pulled out of a, a book that maybe has some swear words in it so you're not going to see it to glue on <laughs> so that will be off the side okay so off we go I hope you're all well and raring to get on with some crafting of your own um ooh, i like those frilly bits shall we start with this right so i'm just going to map that straight on do i think let's have a look at size yeah it's not a bad size that butterfly is it um i'll just ink it and make sure there's no white edges i think i will just map a piece of um, text page onto there and then map the butterfly onto it and that label maybe job done I have of course I didn't show you got some labels with me so these are from um, I told you I was looking for some labels these are from yeah collage type and she's got some lovely label kits out at the moment and I've literally just downloaded this one this morning and printed it off and these are the little ones so I've printed them two to a page to get some really little ones um they're really good value though they're only i think just over two pound for four sheets of labels and two backing pages if i remember rightly i'm pretty sure yeah amazing value and they're really good really lovely labels so go over and have a look i'll put the description in the link as i always do what am i looking for the chopper <coughs> Yeah, so I've got all the lights on because it's a little bit dark. So I hope there's not too much glare on anything. I did say last video as I listened back. I hope it, there wasn't any glare. I thought there was and actually there wasn't. I thought I kept saying it and I was look, watching the video thinking what glare? There is no glare. So I'm hoping that's the case again. Uh, but I'll try and remove shiny things pretty quickly just in case that changes so for those of you that are new to me these pages are from a Reader's Digest Dictionary Encyclopedia I think it was called where's my bin? swap sides with my bin that's thrown me um, oh I think I just saw the word sex there somewhere. Oh, well, we're on about genetics and genotypes, so I probably did, but it wasn't anything. I think you're usually pretty safe with Reader's Digest. Yep, I'm liking that on there and that in there, so we'll ink. Um, yeah, so it's a really big tomb of a book. Tomb. I keep saying that. I don't know what it is with me and the word tome. A big tome of a book. Um, no real age to it it is in one of my videos when i shared that i bought it it's lovely lovely paper but i cut a lot out i have ordered a new dobber today um i cut a lot out for a project i probably cut about 20 pages and used about six <laughs> so i've got a lot of it clipped together on my desk and uh, oh yeah i'll have to I'll have to glue it off off stage so I'm really resisting putting them into, well, any kind of storage. They'll probably just end up in my scrap, scrap box, which I definitely don't want them to do. Or I've got a massive box full of book pages. Uh, that's kind of hidden away in a cupboard and it's time it came out and will start being used. So, so I'm determined not to put them away, <laughs> but they really are taking some using up. They keep making a starring role in every video I do at the minute. I know I've tried that once but I'll try it again because what I'm thinking is yeah I think if I put it high up like a sort of specimen-y looking label at the bottom might be right, I've only put the really tiny ones in here but I do want to 
do one with a tiny one. I don't dislike that. Yeah, the others are a bit fancy. Um, oh, I've got loads more over there, but let's use what we've got out, shall we? These are bigger ones. I don't think I want a bigger one. No, I quite like that one. We're going to go with that one. Yep, OK, we're ready to stick it then. I said it would be a quickish one. And I'm going with my Scotch glue stick. Oh dear, I seem to have stuck the lid on. Let me have a look at that. Let me get a cloth. Oh yes, I've got it all stuck around the edge for some reason. I have to give that a, uh, a bit of a wipe down with one of my alcohol wipes before I put it away. Well probably before that even because it's going to be out all day today. I'm pleased this is being covered up. I've got all sorts of gallbladder and sex cells and all sorts on the back of it. <laughs> oh, that's the side that I was going to. Is it? Yeah, that's the side where I... Oops. Concentrate on what you're doing instead of the words, Denise. That's the side that I had down originally and I've glued on it, haven't I? Right, I don't want that one that I've just wiped the glue stick with. I really ought to put that in the bin while I think about it. Because it, oh sorry, it is only a matter of time before I do wipe something with it. Now this is shiny page, but I think it'll grab okay onto that. Yeah, this, these pages that I'm um, gluing on really are not very nice paper at all. So every time I glue one and throw it away, I'm pleased to be rid of it. It's just from a new modern book that I've cutted. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to go with the scotch again. I've got, I've got fibres on it now from that thing that I wiped it with. Now they're on me. Get off. Okay. Yeah, it'd be lovely to use this butterfly up. It's pretty and it has been in and out of my scrap box and images and on and off the desk for absolutely ages. It's a wonder it stayed as uh, pristine looking as it is, to be honest. Yep. I lent on the blue page like I always do. Oh, I don't need to ink around this, don't I? Oh, it's got a tiny bit of a blue hue around the edge. So this will just bring that down a bit and hide any white cut bits, of course. Yeah, so we'll go with the nearly empty, I think, that glitter, for precision, precision, <laughs> good word. Okay, so I'm not sure uh, when it is you're going to see this video, because um, I think I told you a couple of days ago, I'm, oops, that was lucky, I'm doing a few. few videos each day now so that hopefully when I say a few I mean two <laughs> hopefully when I go away I'll still be able to put videos up so I'm only going for I think four four days but it will probably be five before I film if not six <laughs> so I'd like to get five done in advance yeah I like that I don't I wonder if to so I want to leave the back so that um, it can go in a signature, I think. I could always glue it down if I change my mind. So I'm wondering about putting that and some of this for writing on. I think I will. Might as well while everything's out on the desk. So the thing is, it's white inside. Right, I'm going to get my scruffy mucky dobber out that's got a bit of a 
bit of a green on it, but I always end up filthy when I touch this one. Let's see if I can do it without. I don't know why it stays so juicy all the time. I know I've made a good job of that, but you're not going to. Uh, you're not going to see it when it's matted. Better tie this bit in though. Yeah, I haven't put any ink on it for days, and yet it's very juicy. I mean, it is in a plastic lidded box. I suppose the air's not getting to it, but what's going on there? Oh, that. So if I just go up there, it's better than that white colour. It may not even show when it's in the signature at all, but at least it is green now. Okay, so let's do a bit of choppy chopping. So if we go just inside that, oops, a little bit. And just in about on that one. It's very quiet around here today. Hubby's at work again. Earlier finish today though, which is nice. We might manage a little trip to the shops. A couple of bits we could do with, but it's not if he's tired when he comes in, it's not a necessity. But uh, there is a, a range next door to where I want to go, which is a, um, well, it's a big household all sorts of household things furniture and oh, sort of a, a superstore but not groceries although they do have a few bits of food in the UK but they have quite a good crafting uh, department which I'd love to go and look at I'm interested to see if the Christmas uh, pay books scrapbooking books are out yet yeah, I think I like that on there. I've just got to get it exactly there. I haven't left myself a lot of leeway. Um, yeah, so it'd be nice to just pop and have a look, see what they've got. I'm fancying another couple of rolls of washi for autumn. I don't know if I'll fall lucky. But like I say, we might not even go. It's certainly... Um, well, if not coat, woolly jumper weather today. I've done it again. I glue on there and I put my arm in it. Is that about square? I've got two cloths there now. Yeah, I've cut all that lovely uh, fox edging off, haven't I? But it's going to be, again, it's going to have this on it. Just to give it a little bit of... Shall we have that bit on it? I am liking these little... So which one do I want to be cut off at? That one I think and then I'll round the corners. Oh. Frilly bits. Don't know what they're called. Some sort of perforation. Probably haven't got a real name have they? <laughs> they're from the ring wire type binding. Now are you going to chomp? and make a mess of my thin paper. Yeah, it's not too thin because it, you know, the vintage paper is thicker than a lot of the stuff we get today, isn't it? Right, so do I want those frilly bits on the outside? Yeah, because they might get lost in the signature otherwise, mightn't they? I think this might be crying out for a label as well. Isn't it funny how when we get new digitals, labels particularly, we just love to get going using them on things. I've been looking for some new labels for so long. I've got uh, my Tracy labels and I've got a good set from Artie Mays and I've got a few from Shabby Dabby Doo Da, but you know, we use them so often in our projects, don't we? I was, I was desperate for something new, but uh, to be fair, I didn't even, oh, nope, nope, nope. I didn't even know myself what I wanted, but uh, so when Nanine brought these out, it was like perfect timing. 
perfect timing for me. I mean, obviously, she, I've only got one set at the minute. She's got, I think, three now, new sets of labels. So I will probably be adding, but I want to use these again. Put it in a minute again. I need to move where I glue, I think. Move it up there, that's it. Um, I want to use these. If you get too many new ones at once, it's what's the right way up make sure we get the right way up yeah like that i maybe should have inked around that but it has got its own foxing around it or aging or whatever you want to call it so shall we go with a label or shall we go with the what have we got we could go with it because we've got a label on the front i don't want to make it too heavy right and i'll probably open it down that side won't i oh, i could have a top opening yeah, I haven't had a top opening one of these for a while. I might do a top opening, actually. I'll leave that intact, won't it? So maybe something down here. So I don't know if I want a label or a little birdie. Or a mushroom sticker. Ah, right. Let's have a mushroom sticker, shall we? Or is it not dark enough? Yeah. I'm going to. I still haven't got any of these. These came in happy mail to me just three or four. I really must get around to them. So it's like a, a washy type sticker. I wonder if it needed glue. It seems to have stuck. It is quite a um, the paper is quite what's the word it grabs the glue really well what's the word for something that soaks things up I don't know whenever I turn this camera on I have got a good vocabulary honestly whenever I turn the camera on the words just disappear from my brain it's as if I can't think words and craft at the same time Well, you're probably all shouting it at the camera, but the more I try to think of it, the less it, the more it eludes me. Oh. Yeah, so I'm not necessarily going to ink the front of that in that green. I'll hang on and say, because it might want a different colour when it goes in the journal. Yeah, but I'm pleased with that. Stop sitting admiring it and move on, Denise. You'll be at it forever. That's only one piece. Allegedly the easy one. Right, so I was thinking, I like this colour. This is kind of autumn isn't it? It's orangey, burnt orange. So, yeah, I'm not sure about the dark colour on it. So I'm going to get two, aren't I? And I was thinking, because, what are you doing there? Because the birds, I might have some music behind them. There's that old music that I brought. This piece already started here for some reason. So I don't know if I just want the piece inside it or if I want... I like to see the... what are they called? Staves? Clefts? One of those things. <laughs> And I think that is upside down, but I quite like the notes going the other way. Yeah, so do I want them like hanging out, inked and hanging out? Because I'm going to just, it's just going to be a full card. I'm not going to cut round, I don't think at the moment. I'm not going to cut round that frame at all. I mean, I wouldn't attempt to cut round it fussy cut. Now I could have cut round it roughly. Kiss cut, do they call it? Now I'm wondering if I would like a darker one with that now. Hmm. Now that darker paper's under it. And I might like, where's the ink? I see there's no lid on my glue. I might like a bit darker around it. I'm dropping bits all over there from this dobber. It 
So a Manu Dover Commons, which is one of the wooden handled ones. I'm going to put these in water, all these Dobbers, and make some inky water to dye some paper. I'll let you know how it goes. I'll show you how it goes. Which one did I have on there? Yeah, I like that. It's almost burnt, isn't it? Edge in there. It's a bit darker. Yeah, and I'm thinking I'd like some gold somewhere, so let's choose some birds first. I mean, the, obviously, I love the owl. Love the owl. This is going to be dark now, isn't it? To get rid of the white off him. Well, dull it down. It does frame him a little bit, doesn't it? He's quite big as well, but yeah, he haven't cut around his face there very well, do they? There, where? Can't see what you're on about. Whoopsie. Right, shall I stick those down? Because I think I am going to have them hanging out like that. Whoops. I can always fussy cut round if I really dislike what I've done at the end. Does something nice about music, paper and birds, I think. Yep. So if you're a music reader and you can tell that's upside down, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just like the notes hanging that way. Obviously this one's got the... I think it's a stave, I might be wrong on it. Well, we're going with this colour here. Yeah, and he's got like the orangey colour on his face a little bit to match the card behind. Yeah, maybe some gold, yeah, around the edge of the card. Right, shall I put him on first? That might be a, that might be the way to go. And then frame round him. Because the frame definitely needs to be on straight. Well. She says. I may be backtracking in a minute. I don't think the top and the bottom. No, it's symmetrical. So. I am getting a bit of a shine off that bird. I don't know if you are. Are you a long way away? Looks very small on the screen. I'll bring you a bit closer, but my hands are going to look massive. Is that better? A little bit. Um, right, that's stuck down now. I'm thinking if I line him up on the paper, I should then be able to line that up. But it's going down without glitter, so I'm not going to have long. Yep, yeah, let's do it. Right, I don't know. This may well just soak into here, but I'll put plenty on and hope. And it has got a good circle there for me to put plenty on. The rest I don't know. Might have to go under some edges. Oops, once it's down and dried. Glued myself then. Right, so I think that. Well, the pattern's straight. I don't know, the oval doesn't necessarily look. I just cut the card in half really, shouldn't I, before I started. I like it. I'm trying to put the pin in the hole and failing miserably. It is quite dark now when I'm not in the light. Okay. Oh, we didn't choose a bird, did we? I'm thinking, where's my bird gone? Right, are we going for something colourful? I think he's too big because he's pretty, isn't he? Still got that touch of orange on him there. It's not very old to me though, does it? Oh, what about my little blue tip? No, he's absolutely lost. This one's quite orangey. Yeah, I'm definitely getting a shine off that bird. I don't know if you are. I 
can't see it all that well. I think I'm going for this one. I'm liking the colour on him. I'm assuming it's a him. Usually they're very bright, the coloured ones are, aren't they? To attract the females. I do like that colour of that. I've got a really light one, but I don't think that's... No. And that was the other one I was looking at. No. I think on this card I'm going to do another one in that colour. Is that the right way? No. Yeah, because obviously they're not going to go in the same journal, are they? Yeah, I definitely like that colour on the card. Right, let's uh, let's get a wiggle on, shall we, and stick it down. Yeah, I can hear the cars going past out the front and lots of splashing, so I'm guessing the rain is settling. I mean, I do, I love the change of seasons in England. So I love it when it gets cosy and uh, and wintry. And what, you know, what, when I'm inside, I don't have to go anywhere, obviously. <laughs> it's a different matter if you have to go somewhere and I might just trim him a little bit. I do like to dry my clothes on the line, I have to say. I don't know if this can make much of a difference. He's just a little bit tall, but there's a tiny point on his tail he needn't have had, but other than that, I've made no difference there. Yeah, your tail's going to be hidden under the frame, but I think that's okay, as long as I get him central. So yeah, it'll be, uh, I think for going away, it'll be changing the, the wardrobe over from the the summer, because we have had a little bit of a mini heat wave, so that's gone now, but obviously the summer clothes have still been necessary, but it's definitely time. I've already got one cardigan out, and I've had me... Uh, wet pant bottoms, I don't know what you call them, out for sitting around in, keep the legs warm. Yeah, so we don't want to cover his face, it doesn't matter if his tail pops behind that, but not his face. Okay. Yeah, so I think, I don't know, it's difficult to know what to take away with you to a hotel, isn't it? Because they're often, the rooms particularly are often really warm. We're going to have to take a mixture of things, I think, and some, perhaps some woolly top clothes for out and about. I mean, I am, I don't know if you know or not, but I'm waiting for a new knee replacement. I've had one, I need the other one done, but obviously in this time of COVID, we're struggling with the hospitals. I'm desperate for it done, so I'm, uh, I'm struggling with the walking massively at the moment, so... Uh, I won't be walking far, so I maybe won't need too many warm clothes. Yep, yeah, I like those, shall we? Right, I'm going to chop, I'll chop them in half on this and let them dry with the scissors, I should say. Let them dry and do them properly on the chopper where I'll get a straight one. And I will, uh, I will gold round them, but I'm going to let them dry because I don't want to knock the frames and I think with them being fabric or felty they are going to soak up. Right I want to do another one of those so I hope you're not bored. I've already just spotted he might look nice on there but oh he's pretty. He might be a bit big I might have to cut his, his tree stump off. Right have we got some more? Let's go a bit quicker now. I'm just I don't know I'm not in a rushing mood today I don't know if you guys are. <laughs> I don't know why sometimes when we're filming we feel like we need to hurry up and um, you know to be honest as a, a YouTube watcher myself if I watch somebody and they're going particularly slow and I'm I want to see things quicker I do watch them speed it up nobody knows so they're not offended hopefully it's just sometimes your brain or mine it wants it wants information quicker than it's getting it. I think I'm probably just an impatient person. Yeah. 
it's going to be the case that when I like one colour on these, I like the, the same colour, so I'm going to go with those two. They're alive. There's not enough music on there for my liking, if you know what I mean. It's not pussy enough. Let's, uh, this side of this one looks. Can you tell by how well it's tearing the sort of uh, what the paper's like? Again, words have left me a strange shape, but I think that will cover it. Yeah, so nice and dark with the glue. Nope. <laughs> glue doesn't make things dark, does it? Actually, I'm not the only YouTuber that mixes up glue and ink all the time. I hear it a lot, so it's obviously a common thing. Nice and dark with the ink around the edges. That's what I was trying to say. So it's got that frazzledy burnt look. Yeah, and the fibrous edge of this old music paper is soaking it up nice. Oh, this is very relaxing, nice relaxing crafting. Hope you guys are relaxed too. Yeah, so there's a quite a bit blank there, but that's going to that's going to cover it. So glue it. Yeah, I've got the right word this time. We're gluing it down. Get rid of my glue paint. I don't stick my hand in it. So I might be a slow learner, but I am a learner. <laughs> right, let's not rub that ink around. number two. I'm moving a little bit quicker now, aren't I? Oh, it's getting very dark. I think we're definitely in for a day of it. Pleased I got all my laundry on the line yesterday. I've just got a pile of t-shirts waiting to be ironed. We won't think about that at the minute while we're having fun. Yep, liking those, so I've got to choose some birds. So I really like, oh no, now I don't. He's too much like the background, isn't he? Is this blue tick going to... I don't want to make him too small. I wonder if I could put something else in with him. I don't want to make the image in the centre too small, I mean. There's not much I can do about the size of him. Board going with him. I'm just thinking out loud. Oh, cramp. Ouch. Right, what do we think? That light is glaring. Mm, he's definitely too small. Let's not waste our time. He is very much the colour of that, isn't he? What about this cheeky little chappy? So he's out of one of the fairy books. No. I liked that owl. I wish I had some more out. I have, I just don't know where they are. Right, just bear with me while I grab the birdie drawer out. Oops, don't knock me water over. So, these are just the small and medium sized birds. I just saw a butterfly in there. Don't even know what we're looking for. Well, an upright bird, I guess. I think um, I want something to put them on. Bear with me a minute. Don't want them to go everywhere. Oh, I've got a tin lid, but oh, I was going to say it's shiny, but it's not. It's white. Well, it is a little bit, but because I've got these big ones in it as well. Oh, look at him. I'm going to do something with the bigger birds. Right, let's get down to these go to the bottom, don't they? Right, let's look. Who's that? Oh, three of them there. I think that might be too big. Two there. Oh, 
loving. You're too big, aren't you? He's a lovely colour. Yeah, I'm liking him with the orange and the red on, to be honest. Pheasant's beautiful. Pity I've stuck the, that on now because he could be a sideways on one, couldn't he? Might do him another time sideways. Can you see those? Oh, he's pretty as well. Right, I want those colours but upright. Am I going to find any? Piece of rubbish. Get the big ones out of the way. I think he might be too big but we'll leave him out. Oh. Pigeon? No. I'm not awful keen on pigeons, I have to say. Just because of the mess. Mm. Have a look at that one, one. Oh, that's sweet. Right, we've got a few. Oops, I've got a few there, haven't we? Let's not spend forever. Let me just give these a quick uh, chop round because if they fit, they're really sweet. I like them. And they've got a tiny bit of thread on them. Not a lot, but a little bit. Right, I've got a lot of the surrounding. They're going to fit. them so much so they might just if I uh, put them a little bit closer and ink them because they are a little bit pale just give it one more go and see what we think ink it I like the fact that there's two of them there bumpy head there Oh, I'm putting them on. Oh, hair. A piece of glue stuck to me on the far one rather than the one near me, but. Oops. It's alive. I am going to put them on there. Stop fighting me. Um, let me stick them down. Oh, can you hear that rain? Oops, it is a nice sound, isn't it? Because people listen to rain sounds to help them sleep. So there must be something about it. I think that hair is now on my glue. Or is that a fibre from the cloth? Oh, quick, Denise, all that will not be sticky anymore. I'm going to try and make them rather upright. Did we manage it? Yeah, his tail's going to go behind, but that's okay. Let's get it straight. Yep, a lot of his tail's going behind. Sometimes hard to tell which is the flat bit. Both sides seem lumpy. I think that's the back. Yep, the grass will be nice and green, that is for sure. It's getting quite brown after all that sunshine and heat. Right, so my paper's straight. So I want this straight with the grids, not the birds. About there, do we think? Hmm. Oh, not sticking. Is it soaked in? I just want a bit of it to stick and then I can go round afterwards. Yeah. I think the gold on these, there's a bit of blue stuck where I look. 
hopefully that will dry clear yeah I think the gold uh, edging on them will make them I still feel like I'm going really slow sorry guys if I am <laughs> I think I'm just going to go for him on there. I'm, I think I might be taking too long faffing about with what I want. He's probably one that was out all the time, is he? Just spent all that time looking. I can always add a little bit of something in afterwards if I uh, feel it's quite empty. But they're quite big, aren't they, those others? Going from one extreme to the other. Yeah, I can see it says on the back of here, female. So it's a bird book and it shows you the males and the females. And the poor old females in the bird uh, department, they're often all brown and drab, aren't they? Now you see, I'm tempted to put some Fabri-Tac on that because that other one didn't glue very well, but it, once it oozes through, it's really shiny. Let's just put a lot on. And go a bit quicker. Maybe I gas bagged a bit instead of getting it down. I'm too confident with it. Oops. No, we're not straight. Let's get straight. Yeah, that's better. That grabs better. Put the pin back in that. state of my hands. It's my first video today and I'm, I'm filthy already. Yeah. I definitely think the gold ink around that one particularly is going to make a difference. Right, birdies. Back in your box. <laughs> Okay, I know I've been at it a while, but I definitely want to get this um, this mushroom envelope done because I just I love the envelope. I think you can probably see how it's got a bit of a shine on it now with that light on. So I probably should put something behind it, but I don't want to hide the beautiful. Um, got some more of that book page. Book page. There's a bit here. Look, <laughs> there's not much of it left. Let's see if I've got another piece of it because I think I probably want a tall strip. I'll get rid of that. I've got two pieces. It's not really what I want, I don't think. I thought I had one more page. I have. Oh, it's a double page. I've got two pages. Right, because I'm thinking. Which one do we like? Let's look at the dark one first. Yeah, I like that. Hmm, looking on the yellowiness of that. I think this one might be a bit short, yeah. It's always the first one, isn't it? And I'm thinking with a, just a strip of music paper and a label so that I can see that lovely uh, envelope behind it. made a rare old concoction of that <laughs> yeah even though the ink's shining in that light isn't it so that's all oh, that's a nice piece look I was gonna say let's, let's find a nice heavy piece of, of music by heavy I mean heavily decorated or using all my nice staves there what do we think about that yeah so busy Lots of notes and things on the page, that's what I mean by heavy. Get rid of that scrap. Yeah, I think that's too big. That's kind of what I'm after. Take some of this bottom and a bit off the side. Nope, oh, hair's tickling my nose. Can I just pick it up because it, that light is shining on it? Yeah, I like it at the bottom. Maybe just want a tiny. Oops. 
I want it thinner, but I don't want to lose all those staves and I'm losing them. Let's ink it. Yeah, I think the label will probably bring it all together. The mushrooms are just, if you pardon the pun, singing for themselves <laughs> on that paper. Yeah, that's better. It just looks so upside down, that music, because it's nearly all the notes going the other way. I don't know the terminology for it. Oh, I off my glue again. Right, what are we going to go for label-wise? Medium, these are the medium sized ones. Don't think I want green. And where do I want it? Let's pick it up again. I'm wondering if to glue that down. Hope you can see that was me tilting it. Oh, those are nice. What course have I got those in? like that one. All right, let's try some patterned ones. Um, yeah, no, I know that looks placed there, there, then there, but quite like it. I don't want one with music, do we? Too fussy. Me? <laughs> Am I too fussy? Do we want a green one? Yeah, I quite like the circle there actually. I'll just try a different one but I don't dislike the green after what I said. Yeah. Do I want it there though? Let's glue these bits down because I'm, I'm fighting everything. page. Oh, still sticking that. I will have to give it a clean. Oh, I've just spotted that grid paper piece. That grid paper might be nice on it as well. It will have to go. Is that the wrong way up? Yep. Yeah. Go on top of it now. If I'm having a piece, it won't go under. I don't want to rub the edges and smudge that ink. Let's tear a piece of this down and ink it up and see what we think. It might be too much with the uh, the label as well, but it will get used somewhere, I'm sure. Oh. under that. I knew I'd want it under once I'd stuck that down. It's definitely too big though. Whoops. Come underneath a bit lighter handed with the ink. and it's going everywhere and cloths up for me I'm belting the microphone no the tripod right let's get this down it's definitely cup of tea time I think I have a feeling I might have kept you an hour again I'm not supposed to be doing hour long videos just because I feel they're too long for you guys really if you're somebody that really loves the long videos let me know 
because I have a feeling people, you know, after half an hour have had enough. And I'm trying to do more half an hour ones, but it just doesn't seem to work out. I'm just having too much fun, I think, once I start. Oops, a bit further over there. Yeah, I have a feeling that's in a completely different place to what I, uh, I was going to have it. But that's often the way. <laughs> right, I was hoping just to put that yellow, I think I'm going to do it. It's been a long time now anyway, haven't we? That yellow piece of dragonfly, sunflower paper on that. I don't like getting things out and then not finishing them and putting them away again. I think that's why I end up in the state I'm in with the half done things everywhere. So if you if you bear with me, it will only take me a moment. And then I've got to get some tidying up done. Right, where is it? This. Yeah, then I've achieved all I set out to do. Which is always a good thing, isn't it? And it is all oh, not quite all to size because it's too long but And I'm just going to corner the edges, round the corners even, corner the edges. <laughs> I'm making it up now, just to give you a little bit of something. It's beautiful paper that, isn't it? That is the one from uh, Janie B from one of her bundles. So it's sunflowers and, I don't know what I said was on it, but it looks like sunflowers and dragonflies. Don't know if I said that or not. Oh, oh goodness me! So sorry. He nearly went flying on the floor. Then I hope that really didn't make you feel ill. Be interesting to see what that looks like when I play the video back. Yeah, see that didn't take long, did it? Just needs a little label in the corner, and that shouldn't take much choosing because it only needs a little one. Gosh, my desk is a mess. I do love these. All right, you're not going to stand out, are you? I think you're going to need something quite dark. What about this? Too big? Mm. I quite like that little music one. I think if I, dark, if I darken the edges, I think he's going to go nice on there. And then we can always put a bird or butterfly or whatever on it when we use it. So I'll just put this on and we'll call it a video. Ouch. Hmm. Yeah, you can probably see I've reprinted over something there. That way up. Got a music theme going on today, haven't we? I'll put it there because it may well be inked around the edge. Okay, I've got that done. Super. I'll just push all these to the side and quickly show you what we've achieved. And then a cup of tea and a good tidy up, I think, by the looks of my desk. Okay, I haven't got any card to put under them today, but yeah, we've got quite a lot done. So the four birds, the envelope, and that hope you can see all that okay thank you very much no way too high thank you very much guys for staying with me through all that uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it have a lovely lovely day and i'll hopefully see you tomorrow bye bye